Hey guys, it's your boy Lucas here, and here to bring you some World of Tanks gameplay in the Chieftain. This fantastic tank on this map, Profovka, couldn't ask for any better matchmaking. Now, let's just say I had a really, really, really great game in this tank and this map. It was like pretty intense, like my heart was racing during the game. Well, like, not at the beginning. At the beginning, it's kind of slow. But later in the match, like, midway or half, like, uh, near the end, it's where, like, things started getting intense for me and my heart was pounding because, like, this game, I, like, you know, it was, like, close. Like, I did not expect to win this game when it came to, like, the, the score at the end. So, t at this point of the map right here, at this point of the video, I was deciding to go in the middle of the ma map, Provoca, because it has ridge lines. This thing has a fantastic gun, fantastic turret, fantastic gun depression. And I was like torn from going to the middle of the map and going from the hill on this side of the map. I wasn't too sure. Then after I decided, you know what, I'm just going to go on this side. And I think I probably made the right call because, well, I wouldn't be showing you this gameplay. Maybe things were turned out differently. And right now oh sorry about the mic audio guys i'm using the microphone inside the laptop on my uh, macbook pro and i'm not using my blue yeti like usual so i'm also traveling too so i'm alone in the hotel room so i'm just like well why not just make a good gameplay because like the internet ba back in my place sucks so in the internet in internet here at the hotel is better than the one i have so so why not do it here so yeah, you just gonna have to forgive me about the gameplay footage. I mean, like the gameplay footage, but the voiceover I'm doing. Just to see like how it goes. Now, right now we're just going up the hill. Like I said, this thing is like this tank is fantastic. Like I had a lot of great games. So I think I have two more game clips I wanted to show you guys where this tank was like r pretty good, like really really good. And at this part of the gameplay, I was like looking at this guy in this tank in his object 432 I don't know what that thing's called but it was Jacob De Homo. it's one of those um, people I used to play with like long ago I remember Xbox 360 days on World of Tanks and I was like oh man like I was with my friend near Coast Guard I was like oh man it's Jacob De Homo. I haven't seen him in a long time we would sometimes like see him on the other team or like be in the same team but yeah so we were trying to get some shots. We shot at the T-110E5 like three times, I think. I wasn't paying attention. I was just rambling on about stuff. Now there is a Chieftain that's also doing the same thing. Had the same idea of going on this side. But I feel like that Chieftain maybe should have, I don't know, like moved up just a bit. Maybe he was sh he probably could have took in a hit or two. But it would have put him in a really good spot because he was able to, if he was to advance more further up, I think he would be able to spot us more. And we would have been forced to pull back and yeah. And yeah, we're just like trying to see if we can get some shots down the middle of the map. And I don't think we get really much shots really. I don't think I damage any tanks during the middle. And Jacob the Homo just like... One and two attack too. And yeah, I can't like this tank is seriously good. I even sold my uh like after getting this tank there was like no reason for me to go back to like the the FE two one five B, the other tier ten British heavy. Cause like well, first off uh, I think the the other tier ten British heavy, the FE two one five B, has more health. And the armor and that thing isn't fantastic, you know, like, it's pretty decent, but it's not gonna, it's not like a mouse or an IS-7, and Jacob the Homo, like, said, follow me, and I was like, and he was like, maybe, yep, yeah. if you're gonna say go, then we go, and like, then we got spotted, and you can see in front of me, Jacob the Homo is taking a lot of hits, <laughs> surprisingly, he didn't take any damage, he bounced a lot of shots, and yeah, so... Right now the scores are 3-3, three, three. our team's tied. And I think at this point of the match, I was like deciding, you know what, I'm just going to go back. 
because it doesn't seem like I'm doing any good here. It's like I'm doing nothing. This way and there. Like I said, it gets slow at the beginning, but it picks up later on. And the ammunition in this tank too is in, like pretty insane. It has a a lot of ammunition. So you're never like worrying about like, oh, do I have enough ammunition left over to like finish the game? I don't know what tanks come to mind. Maybe. I don't know, the T-62A, for example, I don't think it, that tank carries very much ammunition, people run out a lot. Or the Bat Chat 25T, that doesn't have many clips. But in this tank, with a single shot gun there, and with a huge amount of like ammunition, it's like, you, I don't think I ever ran into the problem where I fired so much in the game, I was like, shoot, I only have like 10 shells left. But this thing has a lot. Now, I saw this side, it was like, oh, it's not looking too good. And I think this is the point of the game where I thought, uh, oh, look, this is another, like, losing game. Oh, let's see, let's just see, like, how much points I can get, like, how much damage I'm able to do before I, like, I get, you know, like, bum-rushed by the enemy team. So, yeah, I was, like, thinking about going on this side of the bridge. Like, try and see if I can get some shots on the batch at 25T. And there's an E50 in that showed up. And sadly, we didn't take him out. We rolled pretty low, but it's alright. And at this point, I was like, mm, maybe it wasn't a good idea to sit on this side. Because I don't, I'm exposing my tanks, uh, myself even more to some of the tanks. So I decided to switch places, use my turret. Fantastic turret arm in this thing. Fantastic gun depression. And the fantastic gun on this tank. Now, I was a bit worried about the IS-7, I was like, shoot, like I said, I thought we were going to lose this, I thought the IS-7 might be able to, like, push over, put some shots into our sides, and, you know, like, I thought we were going to lose, and I started using, uh, start firing at the buildings in front of me, where the batch head is, because this thing has a lot of ammunition, I'm not afraid to, like, blow up the cover of the batch head, and I think I'm able to put two shots into him, so there's one, and I still got hit from the side, I forgot, I don't know what tank from. And, yep. Yeah, maybe. Oh. Oh, I missed that shot. Maybe I could have uh, aimed that shot better. And here's my friend Coast Guard here, which you haven't seen much in the game. Um, you know, he had the same idea. Like, he thought this was a losing battle. So, like, you know, like, try to. He, I think he tried to get go after the bad chat. Who, who could blame him? I would have. I had the same mindset as him. Like, man, this we're going to lose this game. Right now, the score is 5-11. I was like, shit. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to pull this back, but we're going to pull it. And I was worried about the uh, the health amount of tank. Like, the health points of the tanks. But some of these tanks were like... I was like, wow, I don't find these tanks threatening whatsoever. Because, you know, like, they're not really threatening. They have low health. So I decided picking off the targets with the lowest amount of health. Just take out the guns out of the game so I don't have to worry about them. And I tried to do... Uh, did some damage to the 25, a batch at 25T, which is good. And the Carnarvon was no problem. I think by the looks of it, he may be using the 17-pounder gun. I don't know. It's been a while since I played that tank for, like, a long time. And maybe the 17-pounder, but I don't know about the other pounder guns. So I wasn't, like, too threatened by his gun. And, yep. Yeah, we were able to take him out, no problem. And so far, we racked up three kills. And there's that Yag Panzer E100, low health, aim for the uh, commanders that were Coppola on top of that tank, and boom, no problem. Now, the E100, so I was like, you know what, This m I may have a chance, so I switched to premium, I don't care, I'm just gonna see, like, uh, I'm just gonna do as much damage as I can, I don't care if I were to fire premium for the rest of this match from this point on, as long as I secure the win. So far, it was 5-11, now it's 11-12. Now we pull back the scores. And yeah, taking out this E100 was no problem, especially the premium rounds I was shooting. I forgot the pin on this thing. It's probably like 310 or 320 or something like that. Which is enough to go in front of the E100 straight. So now I think I took too long um, staying out. I don't think he was using the top gun. He was using the same gun, which you get on the E75. And yeah, I was just like doing as much damage as I can, trying to get those weak shots. And I think this E100 play, maybe he could have played better if by uh, instead of like constantly facing his turret towards me, he wants to angle it. You know, if he doesn't have like a a shot or he's reloading, he should have angled his turret and stay behind a tank debris. But he doesn't do that. 
And I, at this point, I should have like aimed at his lower plate because he was wide open, but I just like decided not to. Now I think, yeah, I still try to do the same thing, but my next shot, I think I'm aiming for the lower plate because he's like wide open, face on towards me. And yeah, I just took down a full health E100. Oh, I don't think I get the finishing shot. I don't think so. Oh, yeah, I do. And yeah, and Jacob the homo secures a tank short kill, but already takes him out, and I still use premium like I said I didn't care if I was using premium from now on I just wanted to make sure I killed that bad chat 25t I wasn't too sure he was fully loaded and yeah that was a really intense game for me because it was like my heart's racing at that point I was like oh shit there's a full health E100 I thought he was using the top gun he was able to two shot me but with that kind of gun he was using like on the E75 he was a the most I think he was able to get probably three shots the amount of hit points I have Either he damaged me, my Amorak, or yeah, it would have been bad if my Amorak was damaged because I don't think I was able to put out the amount of damage I was doing. Now I was just trying to see if I can secure the kill. And Jacob the Homo sends me a message. It was like a really good game. We pulled it back. GG. I just wanted to see what really quick what he wanted to uh, send me a message. And yeah, really good guy. And we're just trying to see if we can secure this last kill, but we don't the T125 so I just secured a top gun and by the looks of it maybe maybe I'm just saying like boasting too much but I think I might have pulled the game back for us where I really saved it at the end so like yeah fantastic game I was like holy shit I want this game and yeah it was fantastic now I was like uh, wanted to send a message back to uh, Jacob the homo really quick saying GG back to you and we did a really good game. We got Top Gun. I think we did over 5,000 damage. Got a decent chunk of XP. And we made some silver too. We're not, we didn't lose any silver. Oh, we, It was a small profit. But the amount of premium shells we were fine. It was like, oh, all right. So 15,000 silver, 5,000 XP. 95% of ma mastery batch there. <laughs> Wasn't so, uh, I was like surprised. Like, man, that should have been an ace tanker because that was really good. So you can see the scoreboards and it was awesome gameplay footage. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys like, subscribe, you know, stay tuned for more content in the future.